Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video and welcome to another day of bookmas. And I'm not sure what day this is going to be, but I will be doing the worst books of 2023. I didn't think that I was going to do this video, to be honest. I don't like to talk bad about books. I also don't like to talk about books I didn't like, but I feel like this is going to be informative to some people. And I also want to show you guys just the things that I like and the things I don't like. And these are solely all my opinions. You guys can have different feelings about the books that I read and it's perfectly fine. We all have our own opinions. We all have our own likes and dislikes. And that is the fun of reading books. Books, you guys can share your differing opinions and that's totally fine. I also know that these authors obviously put a lot of effort into making these stories so I understand that even though I don't like it some people can also like it but I'm here to share my opinion on why I didn't like these books. No I will not be including DNF books. I DNF a lot of books and I don't really think that it's worth noting that it's a worse book because I didn't finish the book. However I'll be putting one book, one DNF book in this video. With that being said let us get into this video it's probably not going to be that long because once again i'm not going to talk too much about each book just going to show you guys why i didn't like them and my rating i might butcher the ratings too because i don't really remember exactly what i gave the ratings but i'm gonna try my best these are also not in order let's just talk about the tnf book that i don't own that i already gave away that i didn't like that i know i will not like and that is going to be archer's voice by mia sheridan controversial opinion unpopular opinion i know a lot of people love this book i know a lot of people would die for this book i got into this because of book talk and because a lot of booktube people say that they really like the book i thought i was gonna like it too i got into this i even annotated halfway through because i was like mm, i think i'm gonna like the book and then things started getting haywire and i didn't like the book i didn't enjoy the book i didn't even want to finish the book because i felt very very uncomfortable reading the book the problem with archer's voice for me is that this mmc he is anti-social been a recluse most of his life basically and one day a new girl comes in and he automatically opens up to her or somebody who has been in hiding for like 10 years you don't open up to people that easily especially if they're new to the town once again we love a slow burn in this and i don't feel like there's any slow burn in Archer's voice. I also really didn't like how the spice was inserted into this book. I really felt like that was cringy. It just made me shiver with uncomfortable feelings and so that's why I didn't end up finishing Archer's voice and that's why I DNF'd it and that's why it's in this video. I know a lot of people liked it and maybe the way you perceive the book is different than the way I perceive the book and that's totally fine but it's not the book for me and that is that is that. Let us talk about these two books together because these are my only hardcover books of this video and I am going to be talking about These Hollow Vows and These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan. I think I rated both of these 2.5 but in retrospect probably would have been a two star. These are basically copycats of Akatar. You can take inspiration but you cannot just literally copy the whole thing and this felt like a copycat. The two male main characters of these books are basically Rhysand and Tamlin. You cannot tell me otherwise. But I wouldn't say that Lexi Ryan is completely on my blacklist because I am excited for her new release called Beneath These Cursed Stars. What I didn't like about this duology is that they just went into a whole ton of information and descriptions for no reason. I also have reading vlogs on these two, by the way, if you guys want to check that out. A lot of explaining done without actually doing anything. Second, the romance is cringe. Really cringe. I couldn't get through a lot of the romantic scenes in here. Third, this is marketed to be a YA book, but this is not YA. This is like new adult. This is definitely not YA. So if you guys go into this thinking it's YA, there is spice in this, it's new adult. I don't mind that it's an adult book if it was marketed to be an adult book. Also just the writing and the pacing was off. I didn't like the world building. It didn't really make much sense. Next book I have on top here, Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye. I think I have a reading vlog on this. I got this in a thrift shop and so this was really really cheap which is why I got it but the back interested me that's why i wanted to read this book it's just about two ordinary people who are having a conversation in a cafe and she ended up going viral because of the conversation she was having with the date but she actually doesn't like her date she's actually interested in her bodyguard and things go on from there i don't like when books are cringy if you're a little bit cringy and i can handle it it's okay but if you're overly cringy this one was overly cringy. As characters, they also didn't excite me. It was a very boring book. I wasn't interested in reading this. I don't remember much about this book, to be honest. So that's why I didn't really like the book. I just felt like it lacked a lot of things. Writing-wise also, plot-wise also, just lacked 
a lot of things. And then we have Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. When I first read this book, I rated it three stars, I think, but thinking about it again, it should be like a two stars. This book just didn't have any dimension and didn't have any depth into it. None of the characters had growth and none of the characters really interested me enough to read the book. I love a book that has a lot of character development and a lot of character growth, but this one has none of that. Follow the story of this one teenage girl who has been secluded all her life because of her parents. They're very protective. And one day she goes to Taipei, go on this yacht that's supposed to be for educational purposes but actually it's just basically a party boat for teenagers before they go to college or something but yeah i didn't like the characters and that to me just really put the book down not an enjoyable read at all i also bought these two in the same thrift shop so next book is a very popular book and i feel like it became a book talk book for a while but i didn't like the book i know some people really liked it but i didn't like it i didn't enjoy it personally and it is funny you should ask by Alyssa sussman i have a reading vlog on this if you guys want to see like in-depth reviews on my thoughts about this book but essentially i didn't like the characters as individuals and i also didn't like how they got together the way they fell in love was that they fell in love in three days and then for 10 years they still loved each other falling in love in three days and still being caught up in that feeling for 10 years which by the way you both are already married to different people like how is it that you're not in love with your spouse but with someone else and that's like emotionally cheating the characters were unlikable at all and i know some people like this book but i did not get over the fact that it was a three days and you cannot fall in love with three days you guys the next book i have i recently read and this automatically became <laughs> the worst book i read in 2023 i'm talking about promises we meant to keep by monica murphy if i didn't read this book this year i would have included things i wanted to say in this top 10 of books i didn't like if i didn't like some more than the first book this is a part of the lancaster prep series by the way and this is the third book of that interconnect standalone series i do believe that you need to read the first two books to get into this one though so not very standalone this one is about sylvie lancaster who is the sister of the male main character of the first book with lancaster and you follow sylvie Sylvie and Spencer who basically have a second chance romance. They used to really like each other when they were young. Something happens and they end up meeting again in Wit's wedding and then a relationship goes from there. I didn't like this because their romance didn't feel believable and I also didn't like the spice in this. I actually really like the spice in the first two books but this one I didn't really like. I guess this one more so is that I didn't like the relationship that they had. I didn't feel the chemistry. I didn't feel the tension. It's not very slow burn and I didn't like the characters. That's why this is... I think a two stars for me. We got another two star book, Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I didn't like the male main character. He just calls her a lot of names and I don't think that you should like a person who calls you names, which is why I didn't like this book. The only reason why this is a two stars is only because the plot of the MMC going into her school, us trying to figure out why he's there to begin with, is the only fun part about this book. Other than that, I didn't like it at all. If you guys don't know what this is about, we follow two high school students. They used to be pen pals seven years ago and they are still pen paling now. But three months before the senior year of high school, the male main character called Misha. Misha stops pen paling to Ryan, who's the FMC. And from there on, you kind of figure out why. I didn't like the FMC, by the way. I really didn't like her. It had a lot of problems with the characters and their relationship. I was very disappointed about this read because it was pretty high anticipated and I'm talking about Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie Oh. This is a fantasy standalone. This is about a Korean folklore and in this book you follow Mina and in Mina's hometown homeland there is this rite where every year a girl is sacrificed to the sea god to tame the storms and the sea and in this year Mina's brother's lover is supposed to be sacrificed but mina sacrificed herself instead in order to save her brother from heartbreak and then you follow the story as she goes down to the sea god's realm and all of that i didn't like this because the romance the romance was just so weird i didn't know why they got together i didn't know why they liked each other it just didn't make any sense second of all the fantasy world didn't make any sense it was so hard to understand and i couldn't grasp my head around this fantasy realm it wasn't an enjoyable read i didn't like the ending it was just an easy cop-out ending very predictable even though i didn't understand the book half the time weird fantasy world building and just not fulfilling 
at all. I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last book of this video. And I'm talking about A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley. This was also a recent read. Was it a November read or was it an October read? I didn't like this book. It was, I think, 1.5 as well. This has the same kind of problems I had with Funny You Should Ask, where they both got together really quick. I don't know why they like each other. This one is even worse because they're supposed to hate each other, but they end up liking each other. Also, if you guys don't know what this book is about, you follow a witch who basically only does mundane spells such as getting flour, fixing her plants, and one day when she wants to get flour, she ends up summoning a demon instead, and she has to figure out how to send the demon back, and the demon has to figure out how to get a bargain from her or he cannot go back. And I just didn't like how the plot went and it was boring and i really really didn't like how they got together or how they even were together to begin with it was pure physical attraction from both sides this was in a span of a week and they loved each other before the week even ended don't talk to me if you're not slow burn. That is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this book even though I talked about a lot of bad things about these books. I want to reiterate that you guys might like these books and you guys might have fun with these books but also these are my opinions so I hope you guys respect them. Hi friends, I think I either did not do an outro for this video or I lost the footage of me doing the outro. So here I am to actually end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this even though technically I did not talk about good things about these books. That is it for this video. Video. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for other Bookmas videos. You guys will see one tomorrow, pretty sure, because I'll be uploading every day from December 1 to December 12. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It'll mean a lot to me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!